of people want to make it about race. Why is it that millions of people love Sammy Sosa? He does something wrong. It makes them racist. Okay? Pedro Martinez and Jose Canseco are claiming racism. That if it were a white player, they'd let it go. Like who? Pete Rose? Who's whiter than Charlie Hustle? <laughs> or maybe John Rocker. Racism is getting to be like yelling Freebird at a rock concert. <laughs> Everyone rolls their eyes when they hear it. You know what I say? Anybody that yells racism without proof is racist against whites. And I'm going to start yelling racism for yelling racism. But the funniest part is that Jose Canseco's under house arrest while he's talking about this. The guy's talking about people has got a bracelet on his leg. <laughs> oh, I hope it, those look good, those treats. Now let me ask you, is this Sammy Sosa issue really about race? Would we be coming down as hard on him if he was white, Carlos? Of course. Didn't the other guys that had the same bat get the same eight-day suspension, game suspension? You know what it is? Minorities use, what we do is we use it to our benefit when we need it, and when you, we don't like it, you're racist. You know, black people, don't do this, don't do that. They don't like Kool-Aid, they don't like fried chicken, but they all have big penises. <laughs> So it's like, you know what I'm saying? He got caught. You got caught cheating. Just fess up and deal with it. It doesn't, it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that he's black. He hit more home runs than anybody in the past, what, three years consecutively? And right. they found him with a cork bat. You're supposed to go, hey, dude, what's going on? Are you cheating? I only did it one time. Whatever, dude. No. You only crossed the border one time. You used the bat more than once. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's my people. I know he's black, but he speaks Spanish. He's my people. Yeah. He's Dominican. The same yeah. thing, same I thing. Know. Got, the, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Half the league is like Puerto Rican and Dominican now. I mean, you ever buy a program at a ball game? It's like looking at mug photos at the uh, precinct in the Bronx. You know? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Dude, he, you're right, though. Thank you. Thank up, you. Could listen. you tell my white friends that I'm right? That he's mine. right. I grew up going to Dodger Stadium, and for the first nine years of my life, I thought they were called the Dyers with a Y because I sat up with all the Mexicans who would say, Go Dyers! I didn't know it was a G, dude. <laughs> Fernando Valenzuela? Come on, man. Moises Alou? They're no. all Hispanic. Yeah. All right, let's go on to Martha Stewart. Oh, you're being suspiciously silent about this issue. I don't really follow sports, so uh, I just want to say that. Uh, well, why did you wear that 13 shirt? Uh, I think prostitution should be legal. Can I yeah. say that? You can say that. Yeah. Martha Stewart. Let's go to the Martha Stewart case. Now they're coming down on her. Mm. Now she's obviously an annoying person that nobody likes. But are they coming down extra hard on her? Because she's like the epitome of the suburban white person that all the suburban white media has contempt for because they grew up and they're trying to purge themselves. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just think that w sending her to jail is a huge mistake because look at the, look at the scary empire she built just making napkin holders out of pumpkins. And now we're going to put her in with all these killers and murderers and think of what she's going to learn. We're just making another Hannibal Lecter. That's all we're doing. <laughs> She's going to be like very, like very folksy shivs, you know what I mean, like with little baby's breath on them and stuff like that. She'd be a, but she'd be a great cellmate, you know? Yeah, I mean, she would be really good. You come back from the courtyard after lifting weights, she's, you know, making also buco in the toilet, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? She's a very talented lady. Uh, yeah. She is a talented lady. But they're going down on her because she's a woman. Excuse I mean, me? What? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's because she's a chick. America is still not, is still, we're still not good with, with chicks. I mean, you know, the strong women, we call them bitches. I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's the way exactly we treat That's exactly right. Them. I, that's, uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's what we call them? No, I'm right. I, just want, I, just want to, I think you know the answer. <laughs> she's not getting all this ink because she has a vagina. She's getting all this ink because she's famous. You watch her. You know, wait a minute. As, as, a, as a woman and a Hispanic, yeah, I just want to yeah, say yeah, that yeah. I think that <laughs> she's getting a... Yeah, what, she, she ran her business well and she was smart enough to sell her stock before it lost money? But here's what I don't understand about... Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm here's ready. what I don't understand about this whole thing. If your stockbroker calls you and says, look, this thing's going in the toilet, we got to sell... And you, I thought that's what they're supposed to do. Yeah, I know. What's, I don't see what the problem is. It was is. the fact that she dumped like 60 million shares. Yeah, but so that she's was no, only worth like 50, 60 grand. But she tried, she doctored the, the phone records. It's the uh, hiding up that people have a problem with, right? Yeah.
But it's very you know, similar to the, this But look at what she gave back to, to society. She yeah. gave us back nice yeah. little centerpieces. Yeah. The guys from Enron, yeah. well, yeah. they don't yeah. give you're us from nice San Francisco. Place holders. That's terrific. What? <laughs> you just made that up. I know. <laughs> oh, okay. But it's true, though. She should go to jail because then it's good. I mean, if she's a celebrity. You know, you gotta yeah, pay the price. Yeah, do, no, no, no. The thing is, is that people that do what she does or did yeah. don't go to jail. You're right. It's normal That's behavior. That's the point. Right. Everybody right. else, you know, Enron and all these people exactly. do all this and they yeah. get deals and they get deals and nobody goes right. in and the woman. Yeah. You know, I mean, look at the way we're crucifying, you know, the ex Miss First Lady. I mean, she came out and she wrote a book and did an interview. What does that have to do with you this, or anybody? Okay, what else has nothing to do with it? There's nothing to do with Act One. We're gonna talk about that in Act Two, please. <laughs> This, uh, this is very, uh, <laughs> but this is very similar to the OJ case. Because you got a, a, a white chick, you got uh, kitchen cutlery. <laughs> you got doctored <laughs> phone records. All she has to do is get a white racist jury and a white racist lawyer. She'll get off scot free. Yeah. Oh, yeah. folks, you didn't oh, like no. that one. Oh, boy. I was waiting for the huge black penis joke. Yeah. I was going to see how he was going to fit that in. Oh, really? What am I, a dick joke specialist now? I don't know. Have you, have you watched the show? Watch out, Pat. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's not a dick joke specialist. You yeah. really think that about Nick? No. no. I'm sorry. What the hell just happened? Yeah. <laughs> right, now is a good time. <laughs> We're talking about the Habitat for Humanity. <laughs> They got this new Habitat for Humanity in Georgia. They're trying to bring people in to see third world, like what it's like in Africa, to walk through Central America to see poverty of the slums of the third world. What about this? Is this, uh, you know... What city is this in? It's in uh, Great in Adventure. Georgia. No, it's in, uh, it's in Georgia. In see, Georgia. I don't know what city. A, that's how lazy we become in America, okay? We say, sure, we'll take a look at your third world poverty problem, but as long as there's a food court. <laughs> What's next, a ride called the Sluminator? I mean, yeah. come on. Here we are. What are you doing? We're hard, but how lazy are it's we, dude? We don't even want to go to the third world actual <laughs> country itself. How lazy are you that you'd rather travel from, let's say, right. Seattle all the way to Georgia that's when you can a, just go to Mexico? It's right there. Mexico? It's right there. I think it's a great idea because now you, like, you don't have to travel. It's like the Epcot Center idea. You just bring every part of the world into one little place, and then there's funnel cakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why is it every time, like, you know, Chavez or Vargas loses on pay-per-view, you guys honk the horn so much? Because <laughs> <laughs> wow. we, we don't have a lot of heroes, dude, let's be honest. Uh, so, so when there's a boxer, and, he, and especially if he's, if he's if, and we don't care, let's get that, it's out of the way. When you have, like, you know, a Mexican fighter fighting, like, the Puerto Rican fighter, yeah. it's like Puerto Ricans hate Mexicans for a day. And That's then right. the next day, we're like, we're together again. But yeah. for one day, dude, we <laughs> hate each other. As uh, Neil Young said to the manager of Crosby, Stills, and Nash, please don't leave me alone with these people. We'll be right back. Now, with the Hillary book that, that Carlos was talking about, which is going to come first, a female, black, Jewish, or Hispanic president? My opinion, if Colin Powell had run, he would have won. Is America ready for a black president? Yes. Not Al Sharpton, but I think that Jesse Jackson would have won if he didn't say a Town thing. <laughs> All the polls said whites loved him, same with Colin Powell. I think right now a woman would win if she uh, ran. I think a Latino... If we ran in, first of all, Florida, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, California, would sweep those states. Poor choice of words. What I'm saying is, <laughs> is America ready for this? Nick? Yeah, America might be ready for it, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> no, I think there's an answer to this. It's called selective breeding. We, we have to create a person who embodies everything, black, Hispanic, Jewish, female. You do that by getting, like, uh, Tiger Woods to sleep with his agent's daughter. That'll cover, the, that'll cover the Asian, Jewish, uh, black thing, right? And right. Then they have a baby girl. She grows up with a lot of money, so they have a gardener. She sleeps with him. He's Hispanic. We cover the Hispanic end. Bingo. Okay. What do you got? But a black, a black person will win first, only because Hispanics do one thing in this country. We stay very, like, unacculturated. So people that live, that were born in the United States actually say they're Mexican. That, that person and that mentality will never 
you know what I mean, actually right. get the populist vote. What about a yeah, hot Hispanic female, though, man? Yeah. I'd vote for that. For Chicks that won't win totally. in a long time, because women will not vote for each other. Let's just understand that. That's true. Women are the them. biggest bitches to each other on if the planet. Hot, right. And That's especially true. if they're hot. If she's hot, all the fat chicks, I mean, come on. What we don't have to, have to, that, let's be honest. That's why the fat and black fat guy chicks. won American Idol. On the last day, he wasn't as good, but he was fat. And every Dorito-eating fat ass at home voted for him just because. Let's be real. We hate the skinny guy. We hate the skinny guy. <laughs> Chicks are the horrible. Come on, everybody, every man listening to this is taking a hit for the team, and we know what that means. Chicks don't do that for each other. There's not a chick that I know that would bang an ugly fat guy so that her friend can end up with the hot dude. But you and I have done it many times, my friend. We would vote for each other. Did you, did you say Mexicans are the only group that uh, won't assimilate into America as opposed to the blacks who just red, no, white, no. and blue all over? <laughs> But at least blacks say they're American, well, like, you yeah, know. African-American? <laughs> yeah, but still American. I, Mexicans look, say, I get I, that, hey, well, I'm Mexican. Oh, really? Where were you born? Utah. The Mexican from Utah. <laughs> and then I actually go, habla espanol, now you're getting technical. You don't even speak Spanish. Yeah. Now let's talk about women. We're talking about women and president and men taking the bullet for each other. Look at the Barbara and Hillary interview yesterday. First of all, did you guys watch that? You're supposed to for the show. <laughs> yes. Um, you know second of all, the two coldest pairs of eyes. I've ever seen in my life. Those two. Oh, Hillary, oh, yeah. Hillary and Barbara. Look, they they they, they didn't look like you should use their bathroom and you didn't wash your hands, you know. Uh, Hillary has the warmth of a Rikers uh, Island, you know, prison, prison guard. guard. <laughs> the, uh, but what about the silent, the signs, uh, sins of malice, sins of weakness speech? You had to love that. What was that? Didn't, didn't that Hillary was a, uh, b the president? Is that was she the one? No, that was the other one. Oh, I'm sorry, I, Monica. Right. Yeah. But you know, she said that she said that sins of malice, sins of weakness thing. Like, listen, I know. I was I, watching the Nets. So. I believe I saw that. Like, oh, you said, I saw. I saw ahead. it was like this. She was saying, Bob was like, why do you think your husband cheated on you? She's like, well, he, you know, he got weak, and I just. I, I just want to say, because I'm not sexy! <laughs> I'm really not hot anymore. I because think this guys, is all a show, man. I think it's Bill and Hillary have an arrangement. They've had an arrangement for years. Hillary yeah, wants absolutely. to be in power. She knows that absolutely. Bill likes to sleep around. And that's the arrangement. And this is all just an act, because I know that America wants to see this contrition and all this sobbing BS. But it doesn't, it's all an act. They, have, they clearly have an arrangement. You know what? Listen, so I'm coming, I, I, I'm I'm coming from, I have 11 sisters. All right, and I grew up in the ghetto. Wow. And I'm telling you that some women, many, when in abusive relationships, they don't know how to, they, I believe that she was that stupid at that moment with that man. Do you know how many chicks? My sisters would come home with a black guy. What happened? He loves me. He doesn't love you, stupid. He does not love you. He hates you. Yeah, but you have but now it's like you're turning this problems. I can't hit you. Kick my ass. What is this all about? It's not like Bill and Hillary were on cops, no, but for God's sake. It was a total arrangement. I have scars on my back from where my mom beat my ass, but when my dad cheated on my mom, she understood and didn't know it. That's she right. didn't know it. Dude, that's, I remember one, one time I called my mom a bitch in my head, uh -huh. right? In my head. Yeah. And she punched me in the face. Oh. <laughs> As the coming Greek said to the hopeless Trojans, we'll be right back. <laughs> well, you know, when politicians make a speech, they're given a watered down version of what they really wanted to say. The first draft of any speech is always the money draft. And I got the first draft of the speech President Bush gave last week in Poland right here. Let's compare this draft to the actual speech. Start with Mr. President. I'm honored to be in the city of Krakow, where so many landmarks give witness to Poland's history and Poland's faith. Now, Ari Fleischer has always wanted me to open one of these speeches with a bar joke, and I've always resisted because it's not presidential, but I'm in Poland, which is like the bar joke motherland. <laughs> And Ari is leaving in July, so Ari, this one's for you. How did the Germans conquer Poland so fast? They marched in backwards, and you guys thought they were leaving. Hey, I saw Auschwitz. The sites of the Holocaust. 
in Polish martyrdom. <laughs> okay, this kid, that one got diluted. He visited, I visited Auschwitz today. I didn't want to, but let's face it. It's not like Poland has the six flags. <laughs> Wolfowitz got mad when I tried to push him into the showers. I was only joking. Seeing a death camp up front, seeing the death camp, as a Christian, I was appalled. As a Texan, well, I had to laugh. In the battles of Afghanistan and Iraq, Polish forces served with skill and honor. America will not forget that Poland rose to the moment. Okay, uh, you know how to stop a Polish uh, soldier on horseback, right? Turn off the carousel. Uh, look, thanks for the help, Poland, but don't get cocky, okay? You sent 200 troops that didn't speak English. In fact, I made a bet with Condoleezza you'd launch a scud into Iran by mistake. And I lost. So now I owe her 40 bucks. Thanks a lot. Thank you for your friendship. May God bless this great nation. And may God bless the Polish people. Uh, don't read too much into this visit, okay? America appreciates your hospitality, but we're not your new boyfriend, Poland. So don't start stalking us just because you have our, our email address. Remember something. You know how you know if a Polish guy's been using the computer, there's whiteout on the screen. Now listen. God bless the Polish people. We'll be right back. God bless the Jasinki family. I'm the Dembinski. Was it? Uh, folks, what are you going to do about the peewees? They're throwing rocks at my uh, car. That's my office. <laughs> the line from Colors, Robert Duvall. <laughs> folks, getting caught is America's oldest pastime. <laughs> Sammy Sosa and Martha Stewart are now part of a tradition. <laughs> that includes such distinguished Americans as Richard Nixon, Jesse James, and Benedict Arnold. What's the worst thing you ever got caught doing, and what was your best excuse? Carlos? I got caught selling an ounce of cocaine. <laughs> And, and my excuse was, I'm in the ghetto. What do you expect me to do? Get a job? <laughs> no. <laughs> that really happened. I, I, I had a, I, I went through a whole thing, and I'm like, I'm never going to do this again. I had an ounce left. My friend calls me up. He says, hey, sell it to me. I said, I'll give it to you. I'll take it to your house for free. I told my brother, let's go. On the way out, cops driving in. I wave hi to him. He gives me a weird look. I look at my brother. He looks like he just got killed in the car. So the cop, of course, turns around because he knows. He's checking and checking and checking and checking, and he can't find it. Finally, he looks at me, and he goes, hey. And I go, yeah. It's in the fuse box, dude. And he got it. And uh, when we went to court, he was really cool because I told him where it was. So he said that it was an illegal search and seizure. So I got off. So the moral to the story is if you ever have drugs, Tell the cops where they're at. Pat Oswalt. All right, I got caught. Uh, uh, my mom caught me off to People Magazine when I was 15. <laughs> so I was fi Who am I kidding? Last week. And um, <laughs> picture of Danielle Brisbane in a bikini from uh, Archie Bunker's place. Mm -hmm. So uh, she was all freaked out. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to like cop to it. And I was like, mom, look, I know you're upset, but uh, look at the, you know, the bright side is uh, now you know I'm not gay, and dad owes you 20 bucks. So, you know, that's pretty good. <laughs> Your dad told you were gay? Is that yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the only one. Nick yeah. DiPaolo. Nick DiPaolo. <laughs> My first job out of college was selling frozen steak and seafood door to door. That's true. One day I go to this lady's house, she tells me she has two freezers, but they're both full. So I say to her, whatever I can't fit in your freezer, I'll give to you for nothing. Sure enough, her kitchen freezer is full, and so is the one she has in her den. In the middle of my sales pitch, her phone rings, she leaves the family room for like 10 minutes. So I start taking boxes of ice cream sandwiches and fudgicles, and I put them under her couch <laughs> to make room for my product. <laughs> Everything was great until about five days later, she calls the office screaming that her den smells like Jeffrey Dahmer's crisper drawer. <laughs> well, my boss asked why I did it. You know, I just grabbed the phone. I told her I was John Hickey, the manager, and my girlfriend was pregnant. I needed the money for an abortion, and she bought it. <laughs> what a <f> joke! Uh, all right. <laughs> Folks, you know, we've all lived a long time. Ugly things happen in our lives sometimes. <laughs> Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> basically, I was going to Vegas with my friend. We were going, and it was uh, pre-911, where security wasn't that tight in airports. And at Southwest 
airlines you fly and you get a ticket, you get a boarding pass, it's a plastic ticket with a number on it. It goes like one to 86. The lady was flying, I was flying standby. She said, you can't, no way you're gonna get on this plane. It's not gonna happen, sir. So when she turned around, I reached over and grabbed the last two boarding passes. And as she was looking at me, I, she's like, are you stealing? I was like, no. And I started blowing my nose with the boarding pass. Because <laughs> we all know that, you know, like, that day I discovered that plastic equals fantastic. And ever since then, I've wiped my ass with a credit card. <laughs> ah, ah, this is really wretched. Okay, so mm. I didn't sell cocaine in my, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, but I got caught. I'll tell you one that's, uh, that's at least too? kind of an exciting story. How about this? <laughs> I got caught using, this is recent, because Viagra only came out recently. I got caught using Viagra to whack off. How pathetic is that? <laughs> my, no. Yeah. My friend gave me a couple of Viagras, and my girlfriend wasn't around when it first came out, so I took them. And then he said, he came over, he said, hey, where are those Viagra? Viagra, I said, I used them. He goes, I thought your girlfriend was in North Carolina. She, she is. <laughs> <laughs> pathetic. A word of wisdom for those who get caught. If at mm. first you don't get off, hire a publicist. Good night.